Hello, hello guys. I'm speaking here to present you something that uh, me and my team were, were presenting, uh, we were creating during uh, hackathon, something like a month and a half ago. Well, unfortunately it's not uh, currently online, but uh, you can uh, view it, I can show it later. What is it? It's a dashing, the, the title is Dashing Smashing Party Crashing. Dashing and Smashing are libraries to present artworks. Party Crashing is everyone, that's something that everyone tries, and it rhymes. So that, that, that's why. And I will be talking about uh, how we create dashboards, why we create dashboards, and well, why should we create dashboards? Okay, first, it's true. Well, it's always true. Information is everything. If you don't know, if you don't know what's happening, then you will make bad decisions. If you don't know if something goes wrong, you will not fix it. If you don't know that something is good, well, you will not benefit. So it's, unless uh, it doesn't matter if something happens unless you know about it. So. Yeah, we have to monitor things, and I think that each developer knows about it, and each developer cares about it. But, well, each developer has also its limitation. Well, yesterday is history. What happened yesterday is not that important. We care what is happening now. If something, uh, okay, if something happened yesterday, we, we had to fix it, well, we already know that. It's not information, it's something that we have, we process, we try to do something. We have somebody scheduled to it. So, what we care, the most important is what's happening now. Okay, tomorrow mystery. We don't know what will happen yet tomorrow. We have to be prepared for all kinds of error, all kinds of problems, all kinds of situations that will happen, sometimes more, more often, sometimes less often. But we should be the most prepared that we can to face these problems. <coughs> okay, so why do you, do you need to be in control? Well, because basically you can't trust. You can't trust anybody, even you can't trust yourself. You never know when things will go bad because of some problems that even it wasn't uh, your fault. Some system will crash, some database will just crash because somebody set up, set it up wrong in the third party. You know, you never know. You never know if you can, if you can trust yourself. You, can, you don't, don't know if you can fully trust your coworkers, or you can trust them as a person. They can be great, but they can forget to do something. And if you, well, you don't want to waste time, you don't want to waste time to go to the whole team and, okay, did you, did you do this, did you do this, did you do this? And you don't want to waste time on the other way around to answer such questions. So, yeah, as, we, as, we, as we all know, trust is good, control is better, as in Soviet Russia, I think it's uh, Lenin it was who created the sentence, but, well, times are new and it's still the same. So, yeah. So we have to we have to trust, but we have to also control. So yeah, every step you take, every move you make, are we watching? So basically, we can watch all the steps that we do during our development process. And then all the servers, all the databases, everything has logs, everything has, has accesses. We can uh, step in in every almost place and take information, gather information, whatever we like. Yeah. The problem is really not uh, if we can uh, plug in and take the information, the problem is which information we take and how we present them. Because we have a shitload of information, we have tons of logs, tons of data, but uh, we have to present them the easiest way possible, so it will be valuable. Or hundreds of lines of logs may be valuable, but you need a lot of time to understand them. And if you can will parse it into the value that is easy to read. Well, it's, it's easier for others to understand. And you don't have to be technical to understand it. If you can turn a lot of error problems into one number that we have five big errors to solve, okay. It's, it's an information. We know that we have to solve something, but and we don't uh, get into details why, how, and who. Okay, you should know it all. Because, well, you have to monitor the whole situation. You have to try, well, as you know, as the, the grandma, she, she knows everything about everyone on the street, and so could you. <coughs> well, so, so what is the solution? Yeah, of course, alcohol is always a solution, but in this case, let's have all in front of you. If we have all the information, all that uh, we want to present in front of us all the time, then it is much less likely that we will lose it, that we will skip it, that we will ignore it. 
Yeah, because small cats don't like that they are transparent. They have hundreds of them. Sometimes they don't even know how everything is working, but they, they know which, which ones are important. They know which one which one they should look at. And if they need to learn more, then they have full books about it. So so yeah, sometimes you need hundreds of such uh, such well, sets of metrics. Sometimes you have you need only few, but if you have all in front of you, then you will use it and then you will benefit from it. Okay, so what can we measure in such uh, dashboards? We can manage whatever we want because, well, it's us who create data, it's us who gather data, it's us who present data. In case of IT company, well, the, the most usual things should be how the system is performing. So if it's, well, if it's working, yeah, that's, that's the most important thing for every developer if the system works. But of course, the number of the errors that uh, are, were found, the number of uh, when the lab deploy was, well, you can imagine everything that is uh, connected with IT development process and present it there. Also, you can, well, keep track of on how, how, how the team is working. You can present well, if they did they, they reviewed this, you can list if well, they have scheduled vacations. As always, you can think of everything, sky is the limit. It's the data, you, you find the data, you present it, and whatever, whatever you want. Uh, one additional feature, if you, you have a limited space, usually you present it on the screen, the screen is, well, has the dimensions, the information has to be big enough to, to be seen. So then the, the simplest solution is just to rotate the screens. You don't always have to look at each, uh, at each window at once. Sometimes you, you can rotate it, it's good enough. And one, one, one important thing, I think, show it. Uh, unless you show it to other people, not only your team, then it doesn't uh, do as, as much purpose as it does without it. <coughs> because, yeah, uh, you have all access to this data without uh, this dashboard. You can go to driver, you can go to some air break, or to other air, uh, to, to have you can check it all, all the time and check if, okay, this is working, this is working, this is working. So, your team can rely on that. But if you, you cannot uh, give this information outside of the team, and, well, there are two feelings that uh, are pressuring. It's for shame or pride. If something is going wrong, then, well, other people see that something is going wrong. Or if something is going great, then other people see that it's going great. Of course, it's not always uh, the management. Of course, it is management, usually, but some other people also can see it, can influence it. So, yeah. <sighs> of course, of course, uh, there it has other issue, yeah. The more people see it, yeah, you're not always looking at it. People get sick, people go out to work, there are weekends. The more people can see it, the more, the faster they will see that there are some, some problems. Of course, uh, there are other ways to do it with mails or other things, but it also can be used. And of course, you can share it with client if you want. Of course, it, sometimes you don't want, sometimes you want. It depends how good are you with the client and how much do you want your client to know. Okay. There are some things that you don't want to share. Well, of course. Uh, what do you want to? What don't you want to share? There are, you can expose too many information. You can expose uh, information. Well, the development process not always goes as smoothly as it shows in the paper. Sometimes you have drawbacks. Sometimes you have problems. And well, not always you want to share it with the client. Of course, the client knows the whole picture, but he will. He will. He can have problems if he says, "Okay, now we have a spike of hundred errors." For two minutes, because it was some kind of downfall, uh, some kind of uh, not not our problem, but he sees it and okay, and he rings the ring, rings the phone, and what the hell is going on? So we have to be also uh, pre pre prepared not to 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 figure out which one, which information we should show, show which one we shouldn't. Uh, okay, also confidential information, of course. I don't I don't know if there are any in case that we are we are doing, but. They can be, and of course uh, you can over, over it, or overdo it. If you put so too much, uh, too much uh, of the screens, you will get lost in it. You should only put some things that you really use, you really care, you should really value. And of course, don't push API tables to repository. It's well, you will use them a lot, them a lot because almost each uh, connection requires stuff. So. 
So this doesn't push it. Okay, and what, 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 what is the other issue? You are connected, because not only, not only when we are talking about IT, all the things that we do currently is linked. Okay, I'm talking now to the phone, so this also will be linked, but well, when I run, I have a, I have a support running watch, well, it's also then safe, safe, safe in the computer, then it's safe to the data, database somewhere, then it can be sent, but also can be gathered. The games you play, you almost play, almost always play with some kind of Steam or other game providing service. It's also stored. So basically everything that you do on the computer and even sometimes you do off the computer is stored. <coughs> and well, it can be good and can, can be bad. Of course, the bad is the whole big topic of privacy and stuff. It's not, not, not the place, but it also can give you something that uh, you don't uh, that you can use. You don't you don't have to use dartboard for IT projects. I myself created a dartboard for tracking my my life. I can see how many how many time I spent playing games last week, how many kilometers I ran last week, and so on and so forth. And I can really benefit from it because tracking. Okay, I'm slacking. I didn't uh, I didn't do this. I have this to do these things that I have this, that I will do this week, and I haven't. So it can benefit you in also personal life, not only in projects. Okay. And now technically, dashing and smashing. Dashing was an uh, original library created by Shopify. Then uh, after it went uh, then all that, it was uh, renamed to smashing. And it's currently still uh, developed, maybe not that <coughs> good like before, but still. Uh, what 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 they did? It is not Sinatra based. So, so yeah, you can just uh, easily deploy it, yeah. Uh, there are a few default widgets that come with the library, but you can easily access a new one, or if you have time and knowledge, you can create a new one. It's not, easy, it's not really that hard, it's just some copy script, some CSS and HTML. So, but from my, from my experience, the, the, the usual one with the uh, open source one are good enough. Uh, Okay, you can add also what, whatever it's that allows you. You can add authorizations if you don't want to share it. The work you want to share it kind of inside the company or inside some people, you can add authorization. You can add everything that Sinatra, Sinatra one allows you to add. Uh, how it looks, you uh, technically. Uh, you create a, a job for uh, each uh, widget that you want to present. And this job uh, will run cyclic cyclically. Uh, and uh, gather the data and pass it to the widget in well in the form that this widget requires. So you can customize, of course, how this uh, job is uh, run, and uh, how 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 much, how often. Uh, that thing is what you use a uh, scheduler to to manage the the time in in these widgets. So it can really be also in, uh, very important as. There are some things that you don't want to run often and some things that you really want to run often. Uh, so sometimes you want to check something every five seconds because one's well, crucial, uh, you know, health check of the living system. And sometimes there's something that you want to check once a day because it's good enough or even less. So not to, if you want to limit the connections. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the view of this widget, okay, I'm, I will show how, the, how, how it looks, so I guess you, you all have seen this one that, of ours, you can easily manipulate how, how, how it looks, uh, where, it, where, where the widgets are placed, so it's really, really very, very intuitive to use, you know, just, down the, just go to the website, see the tutorial, and after five minutes you have something working, so it's really, really simple. And how do the widgets look? Well, the definition of a widget is uh, it's split in three in three files. In HTML, that well, gives the template, CSS that gives the look, and this copy script that gives the logic. So it, here, this is specified how, how the data will behave, how the input data will be presented. Okay, it's very easy to deploy to Heroku. It's just two minutes of work. It's just out of hand. You can also push data. I haven't used it, used it, but it, it, you can. You, you may not only rely on pulling the data by jobs, by cyclic jobs, but you can well push data to this uh, dashboard. Sometimes it may be useful. There is some unexpected event that you want to push as soon as possible. 
And of course, you can then have graphics and everything that Sinatra Vegas wants you because it's <laughs> it is. And uh, it's an example of uh, my simple widget. It's a widget that uh, every day shows me how many days I have till uh, my mountain race will start. So I'm going to the our company uh, our company owner. So it's so just simple. Every day at two a.m. checks what day it is today, what day it's the event, and present and send send the event to to the dashboard. This one is the, <laughs> the most important file line because each uh, job has to align the send event uh, uh, methods that uh, will connect to to the dashboard. They will connect to the name, as you see, it's the same name as then it's in the dashboard, and then the data. Data may vary, vary depending on what the widget because there are some widgets that are simple. This is simple. You have a number to present a number, so it's as simple as that. But there are widgets that require really complex data. So Depending. And how it looks like those strange colors on this. Uh, yeah, this is a, an example from from what uh, the, old, the owners of this machine present are presenting. So, of course, you can, of course, yeah, as, I, as I said, you can uh, rearrange it, you can add some uh, new widgets, well, whatever you want. And thank you for watching. Uh, so I saw this picture. I had to print it somewhere, but it didn't fit. So, so yeah. So uh, thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it.